Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been well. Today we have a different kind of video. Different for a couple of reasons. Number one, I'm filming on a different camera. I'm also filming hopefully with my AirPods and the microphone because there's a lot of noise in the background today. So I'm really hoping that that helps us out with that. Today's video is different in a manner that I have a review for you guys and it's not nail stuff. Skip if this isn't for you, but you might want to stick around because there's some money saving here. So there's a link down below. I don't make any money off of it, but there's a link down below to shop all of the things that I'm talking about today. And Dosia perfumes is what I have on the schedule today. And I am so excited. I was so excited to receive these. And I'm so excited to tell you about them because I'm really picky about perfumes in a not in a snobby way. I'm really picky about perfumes in a way that I work with the public and I work in a very small space and I work really closely with people. So I don't love to wear anything too overpowering. If anything at all, a lot of times I'll just go for a vanilla type lotion because I feel like that's the least you know, aggressive of the smells. Vanillas, orange, I really like citrusy. I really also like amber, sort of musky, but again, they have to kind of be on the lesser scale, less saturated because I'm thinking about color. However, ugh, I got these and I just love them and let's just talk about them. First things first, when I got them in the mail, they were so cute. They're in this little box, I love them. They're simple packaging. They just have the name on the front. They're easy to open because sometimes when you're opening something like this, you're really like, you have to aggressively open it and then you're afraid that everything's just gonna do this, right? Not with this. So you're opening it up, iconic sense, designer quality, and no markups. And guys, that's so true. So everything on their website is under the $50 range and actually most of it is around the $29 mark. Let's go ahead with what I chose. I'm gonna start with the one that I, so when, I, when they got me to choose the scents, which I did not purchase. However, I'm not making any money off of this video. So all of these opinions are my own. They haven't asked me to say anything specific. The one that I chose first, I chose one that I thought I was gonna love, like super love, right up my alley, the perfect scent. And I chose one that I would never buy, that I would never just reach out and be like, oh yeah, that sounds like me. Here's what I got. This is really interesting. The first one I got is Woody Sandalwood. I can smell it a little bit just on the card. I'm not gonna spray it here at work. We can't do that. But I did take a few days. I sprayed them on myself. I wore them on the weekend. I also sprayed them kind of in my bathroom and my bathroom hangs on to smells. So you can come back in a couple hours, open up the door and boof, it hits you. I actually really like that when I'm testing a fragrance because I feel like that's what it's gonna smell like after a couple of hours. Woody Sandalwood, the notes, the top notes are violet leaves and cardamom. Again, not the first thing I would choose. However, that is what I wanted. The middle notes, orris, ambrox, cedarwood, cypriol. And the base notes are musk, sandalwood, and amber. So the base notes are things that I would choose, but maybe kind of in a different configuration. Inspired by Le Labo, Santal 33 Eau de Parfum. It's a 25% concentration. So their mission is to deliver the highest quality luxury inspired fragrances at a fair price, giving you the freedom to explore new scents. Thank you for giving us a try. What else can you say about that? We all like a really good deal. And if you can have like three perfumes for the price of one, because I looked this up, the Santal, you're looking at like 250, 239. I did look it up. It's on the phone that we're filming with. Another thing about Dossier that really needs to be mentioned here is when you don't love the smell, if you're not in love, you are always able to return your bottle. You simply head to the returns page on the website and create a return label, period. They, period. You just send it back. 
I love that about them. That is so amazing because lots of times you're unsure, like I've opened it, I've spritzed it. Is it something I can send back? I don't know. You can, you absolutely can with them. So after you have read your little card and looked it all over, you have your perfume in the box, which is really nice and secure. And it looks like this. How pretty is that? I just love, I love how it would look with three or four of these lined up like on a little glass table. So sweet. So there is 1.7 fluid ounces in each. They have a magnificent top on them that is magnetic. You know, I'm going to say when I first opened this one up, this was the first one I opened because again, I wanted something that was outside my comfort zone. I sprayed it in my home. I sprayed it in my bathroom and on myself and I kind of went about my day trying not to specifically think about it. And I didn't love it that first time, but the longer I wore it and now when I smell it, the sandalwood is strong. The cardamom, it smells, my boyfriend walked in the bathroom and was like, does it smell like pepper? Mm -hmm. Yes, you get that peppery smell from it. And you're also getting that violet. I do enjoy this. This is, I do enjoy this. However, this is not what I thought the Santal was going to smell like. I have never purchased this one. Therefore, I can't tell you what the original smells like. I do quite enjoy this one. I think it would be really good for uh, a night out. I don't necessarily think this is a good daytime one. I don't necessarily think this is a good everyday one. Not for me. That doesn't mean it's not going to be for you, but for me, I'm going to say that's an evening out. On to the next one. So the next perfume packaged exactly the same is Powdery Orange Flower. Mm, not much for floral, but do I love orange? Yeah. And do I love powdery? Yes, but not baby powdery. So I thought, okay, I'll give this one a try. The top notes are mandarin, bergamot, and ginger, all three things that I really enjoy. The middle notes are orange flower, white flowers, and gardenia. Not sure, that might be too flowery for me. The base notes, vanilla, tonka bean, and musks. And I was like, oh, you put that all together? This is Stunning. This is for every day. This is for vacation. This is for here in the salon. This makes me dizzy. I like it so much. I love this. When I took it out and smelled it, I just immediately wanted to spray my whole home. I want this in a dryer sheet and in a candle and in a room spray and in a lotion. I think this would also be one that is amazing to layer with others or layer with like a vanilla lotion of some sort. I have an amber solid perfume that I think it would be really nice over. Oh, I just, I love it. I can't stop smelling it. This one is inspired by the Valentino Voce Viva Eau de Parfum. Mm. Gosh, it's an 18% concentration. And again, it has that same return policy on it, which I really do think has such a value just in and of its own. I hope mm, that that gives you some insight as to what you might want to get, but it also gives you the freedom to be able to know that you can order something that maybe wouldn't normally be up your alley. I love that we can get like, what have I got here? Um, I priced this one at like $150, I think. So we're, we're looking at you know, like three or $400 worth of perfume here for under a hundred that you're able to purchase and know that you can send back and know that you're going to enjoy. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will do my best to help you answer. Also, there is a link down below, like I said, to bring you to the Dossier website. They are available at Walmart as well. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I know this is totally different for me and these aren't something that you'll probably see all the time, but this is something that I I just really wanted to throw into the mix of my videos. Anyhow, have a great week.